everyone, welcome back to Fig and Bloom. My name is Sam and I have a new video for you guys today. We are going to be making a fall themed board for Thanksgiving. I know that you guys requested you wanted more holiday themed boards, so since Thanksgiving is the next holiday, let's make one for that. So I will be assembling on this big old platter. This is a 16 and a half by 13 inch platter that I got from, where did I get this? Hobby Lobby. It has some cute little detailing around the outside. So this platter is gonna feed probably, I would say eight people-ish, maybe more depending on how much you're actually eating, if you're grazing, snacking, or if it's gonna be your meal. Um, so. For the sake of this video, what I have done is I have prepped everything. So I even have my little herbs prepped. And all I'm gonna be showing you guys is assembly. And then I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks and how to really bring that board together if you have little um, gaps, like how to fill them, things like that. So we are gonna go through the super duper basics of finishing your board. Right, so let's go ahead and get started. Here are the four cheeses I'm gonna be using today. So the first one is a triple cream excellence from Fromage Dafinos. I always pronounce that wrong, but um, this is super good, super salty, very creamy and amazing. The next is a cranberry chipotle cheddar from Car Valley. This is a local company to me and it is so good oh my god it's sweet barely spicy i can't even handle spice and that's barely spicy the next one is schellenhocker i am so butchering that but this is an alpine style cheese and then we have royal grand from beamster this is a aged gouda it's aged 12 months you can see all the little yummy crystallites in there oh my god so those are the cheeses all right, and these are the meats we're going to be using. So this is my favorite prosciutto. I highly recommend it. It's Parma. I have it cut in half. Um, and it is so delicious. The next one we're going to be using is a hard salami from Boar's Head. I went to my deli and they I had them slice it. And then I have an uncured dry salami from Boar's Head as well. All right, I've already set the grapes down just because my camera wasn't focusing, but basically the first step when I'm building a board is I always start with the grapes. Everyone starts differently. That's totally fine. You do whatever you feel is right, but I, again, am just showing you how I do it. I start with the grapes. Um, I kind of like to separate them. It's also gonna bring color across the board and I don't want the same size bunches so as you can see i have a larger bunch here and a smaller bunch there i might even as i'm building because like i said as soon as i set something in place that doesn't mean it has to stay there i adjust as i go um so i might even want to add some grapes somewhere else i don't know we'll see so like i said largest items first so i have the grapes on here second thing i'm going to grab is i have two ramekins i have one filled with honey and then i have one filled with my own black raspberry sage jam that i made this summer um so i'm going to just kind of place them where i think i would like them again not always gonna stay where i put it the next thing because we are making a festive thanksgiving board i'm going to be adding a persimmon this i just got at trader joe's um it's perfectly ripe nice and squishy and i like it um for decoration you can also what i'm going to be doing on my thanksgiving boards is instead of leaving this hole i would slice it um or you could slice it in half and then cut it into a little um little triangles for people to eat but i'm just gonna leave mine whole today the next little cup i have are olives i have some garlic stuffed olives here um gotta have something briny all right and then so i am adding some red pear to my uh board so i left a quarter of it whole and then i sliced it flat so it'll lay nicely um wherever i decide i 
I think I kind of want it over here. I kind of like the pear here because then it kind of breaks up the big red grapes. But okay, now that I have everything set, I'm gonna go in with my cheese. Uh, I always start with brie first because it is the largest and to me the most beautiful. So I wanna set it somewhere that people are really gonna see it. So I'm gonna put it in the middle and I put it on some paper so it wouldn't stick. And I just kinda want that in the middle because I think it's so beautiful. Um, and then I also have it here because it goes really well with honey and it goes with jam. So you can kinda do whatever you want with it. And I think I like that better. <laughs> And as you guys can see, there are some gaps. So I have a gap here and I have some space here. Um, and there's a couple little gaps here. So first of all, what I would recommend is maybe I could put another blueberry here. So I'll grab another blueberry. Um, this is a pretty big gap. And then this just kind of needs a little bit of filling in, not necessarily more product, but I will show you how to fill that in in a second. So again things like figs make great opportunities right here so i'll put a little fig there and that lessens the gap when it comes to this gap what i would recommend doing is if you take little i made like a little salami rosette this really isn't anything special i just folded two pieces of salami together and what you can do is kind of go around your board and fill in little areas that you might have extra space like that all right so there those are taken care of all right now let's talk about herbs so on this plate i have a few different herbs we have rosemary we have sage dill and thyme I am a huge fan of using all four. I like a variety. I like it to look like a little mini bouquet, um, but you totally don't have to do that. If you only wanna stick with rosemary, that's fine too, or sage, whatever floats your boat and makes you happy. 
But like I said, this is my art, so I like to make it look like there's little bouquets all over. So, and because I live in the tundra of Minnesota, there are no fresh flowers right now. Um, edible flowers, normally I'll grow pansies or violets that I can add to my board. But like I said, it is winter, so we are stuck with fresh herbs from the grocery store. So, fresh. <laughs> can see we are finished here I have herbs all over the place in the little spots that we didn't fill with anything else I have salami that helped fill in the spots um, if you don't have herbs I would recommend maybe taking some nuts and you can just pour them in the spots that were empty um, but I like doing it with the herbs because not only are they beautiful and add some greenery to your board but they also are super duper good with some of the cheeses so like that brie with the dill oh my god it's so good highly recommend but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you love my board i'm so excited that me and my family get to eat this tonight i hope you have a great one and i will see you in my next video bye